the first thing I would like to do is talk to you about historical fiction. The important thing to remember here, and I'm not going to read it to you, you can read it to yourself, is historical fiction does not always have to be real in your novel. For example, most historical fiction movies are not totally all correct, and that's okay. People complain like in Argo, they said that the ending wasn't correct. Well, it's historical fiction. You know, as long as it doesn't mess with historical events, it's okay. Now we're going to talk later about why this is important uh, because with your research and your writing, does everything have to be absolutely correct historically in your book? No. But if it messes with um, historical events that are important, yes. And I hope you can uh, understand the de definition because that will help you focus when you write and not worrying always is true, even though um, I'm going to backslide on what I just said a little bit later. It's very important that you find your historical context before you get started. And what do I mean by uh, that? I'll give myself as an, as an example. I knew one of the things I wanted to do was uh, to write a historical novel. Well, first of all, uh, what history do I like? Well, I like Egyptian, I like Renaissance, but I really like the 1920s. I can feel it, taste it, smell it, live it. So what you need to do is ask yourself, what historical genre or um, time is you can do all this, fill it in your bones, because that's going to make a big difference in your writing, I can guarantee you. One of the things that is critical with historical writing is emotion, and you need to put emotion into history.